Are you ready? Ready to learn how to export ProRes Alpha Channel video that can be imported into Camtasia 2020 and used. So uh, we're gonna take a look at doing this with the Adobe stack. I'm in After Effects right now. We'll use After Effects and Adobe Media Encoder. And we'll take a quick look at this timeline. You can see I've got various levels of transparency. There's some particle effects simulating the touch in this particular case of this gesture and then some shape morphing and various levels of transparency throughout. Okay. And uh, just to show you what's going on here, if I hide the faux background there, you'll see that all of the uh, grid area here is what is truly going to be transparent, all right? So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and export this. I'm gonna go ahead and go to File, Export, add to the Adobe Media Encoder queue. And you can see right here is what I've got. So, uh, first thing to note, you want to choose QuickTime as your output destination. Very important, don't get confused by other things like ProRes MXF. Use the QuickTime MOV container. And then I've got a preset that I'll use here and we'll just go ahead and pull it up and take a look at what's going on here. So save that into the exports, let's just call it, uh, Pinch ProRes for kicks and giggles. Do save. And now we're going to take a look at our settings. In the video codec, very important. You want ProRes, Apple ProRes 4444. All right. And then, also very important in this panel, never check the render at maximum depth. You want to choose a depth of 16 BPC plus alpha, right? Often defaults to eight, eight bit. So you want 16 bit channel alpha. All right, so, and I'm gonna use the maximum render quality down here. And we're just gonna go ahead and say, okay. So we've got everything set up. We'll perform our export. And just like that, it's done. So now we're gonna pop over into Camtasia Studio excuse me, Camtasia as we call it these days, Camtasia, Camtasia 2020. And in here, let's do a toilet test, we'll delete this guy just to prove. We're gonna go ahead and import. Remember we called that pinch ProRes.mov. We're gonna go ahead and import it. And that is just a video clip. I drag it down to the timeline now and drop it on top of this motion background. You can already see all the transparency is preserved in this thing. All levels of transparency. And the quality is outstanding, too. If we, if we zoom in on this, you can really see the, the particle effect. The fidelity of the particle effect was preserved. So if you had experience using the old PIN codec, I didn't find it to be that great. Um, ProRes, definitely, definitely very good. So... One of the neat things here, I'm just, just for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this guy and we're gonna reorder the track here and turn on this track. You can see we've got the rainbow bars, rainbow bars motion graphic, right? Let's come out here where it's a little bit more interesting maybe. And we're gonna move this guy down. We'll throw him, make him into a track mat piece of media. Uh, I've got some very cool motion graphic styling here. So super, super slick stuff that you can do. But the most important thing is that you get this very nice alpha transparency when you use ProRes 4444, the 16-bit channel alpha. All right. Um, hope that you guys are going to enjoy making very fancy, fancy videos 
instead of Camtasia.